What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do another unboxing. It's box number 11, which means I only have one more box to do, but it's been an amazing journey. So let's go. All right. So what the box looks like. Honestly, got the ruler. And the social media stuff as well. Alright, first off. <clears throat> Acme Tackle Company. V-Rod. Look at this bad boy. Look at this blade bait. Got the three. Got the three holes on top as well. So you can tune it. You know, you can use three different uh, line ties and make the adjustments on the bait where you want it, how you want it to vibrate. It's called Pony Boy, three eighths of an ounce. Beautiful. Next up, Reaction Strike. Ranger dives two to four feet. This actually looks pretty cool. I like how big this bill is. Let's see. Color is called green shad. It is a quarter of an ounce. Whoa, this one looks super cool. Freshwater Customs. 0.63 ounces, 1.69. Look at this thing. Let me see if I can get the glare out of here. Pretty neat. I don't know. Five layered coating, tail part is turned down to prevent any tangle. It's got a torpedo fin at the bottom right here, is what they call it. You got the turn down right here. Made by Major Craft Company. Color is Okawa. Beautiful. Very unique. Very, very unique. Next up, we got Big Bite Baits. Looks like it's a creature bait. A really thick body. Got some ribs on it. Got the, looks like the tail. It's got some holes in it. Nice. About a four pack. Black with some blue flakes. Very, very nice. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, this spinner bait is huge. Three eighths of an ounce. By Phoenix Baits. Three eighths of an ounce. Shore Master Green Pumpkin Shad. Look at this thing. That is very tall. It is beautiful. It doesn't have an extended bait keeper on it, which is okay. I wonder why this is so high. Interesting, but it looks very, very well put together. Nice hardware on here. My cream. The creator of the original plastic worm. Five inch pro series. It's called a wacky stick and the color is June bug. Like that purple with some green flakes in here. Can never go wrong with the Cinco. Beautiful. 
Yes. Biocraw by Biospawn. I got these in my Biospawn Essentials Pack, too. But look at these things. It's got appendages, right? So the tail. It's got a separate one in the middle. You break, you break these apart. See how it's connected right there? And it's also got this part that sticks out so it creates more water movement. It's almost like a cup. Right? And this, it's got a hook slot in the middle, but the body is super thick. Perfect for punching. I haven't used mine yet, but I definitely want to start using um, more Bioswan stuff. I love all their stuff. Color is sprayed grass. It's oranges. Next up, we have a flippin' stalker jig by Kalins. Three eighths of an ounce. Color is called pond scum. Very nice. And then the last bait is the Heckler by Excite Baits. Look at this pencil lure. This thing is massive. Or I just have really small hands. But this thing is massive. It's got to be at least four and a half inches. It's got the hard knock in there as well. Um, it doesn't tell me... what the color is, or the size or anything like that. But it's got the chartreuse on top. It's got the black head. It's clear. And it's, all, it's got like a little reflector in the middle as well. Very, very cool. And then obviously, it's got the rattles in here. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Look at that. And then you have your sticker. Nice. And then we have the Dibble. So this booklet, like I said, always contains nice information. It doesn't matter if it's, it's just fishing information in general. You know, bass, walleye, panfish, musky, ice fishing. So, you know, it always gives you a little story in the beginning and then see how it says carp, uh, bass, three colored frogs that work everywhere, which is nice because I think I have like seven or eight frogs, um, panfish or trout right here, universal fishing chips, tips, the spinner bait versus the chatter bait, which is always up for debate, walleye, inshore salt water, Angler Spotlight, and this guy's been in here before. I actually follow him on uh, on YouTube. I haven't seen his videos in a while, but great, great content. Ryan Yin, nice. So Fisher Yin is his YouTube. It's actually they did a nice Q and A. Very nice. Hopefully one day I'll be in here. And then obviously more universal fishing tips. Peacock bass in Columbia. And then last but not least, it's always like a little crossword puzzle or something on the back as well. Always make time to read this stuff. Very, very nice. It's always a good refresher. So on the front side of this card, you have a list of the lures that are in your box. And then you have a list of the prices as well. And like I said, you're always gonna get more than what you paid for. Trust me, every box is worth it. And then on the back side, you're gonna get this QR code. It's tips from the pros on how to use each lure in this box. So don't forget to check this out as well, okay? So like I said, this is box number 11 
Uh, we only have one more box to go. And honestly, I have no idea where I'm going to go from here. I don't know if I'm going to keep my MTB or maybe try to go over to Monster Bass or Six Sense or maybe do all three. Get a little crazy. Um, which I don't, that's like the slightest possibility just because I'm already stocked up on so much lures. I haven't even used, actually, I actually haven't used any lures from my MTB boxes yet. Um, but with that being said, thanks for coming along on this journey. And, uh, I hope you've enjoyed everything along the way. Obviously I didn't get a lot to fish this year. I didn't get a chance to fish a lot this year, but you know, these MTB unboxings definitely have been keeping me a little sane and I hope it's been doing the same for you. So until next time, peace.